Hi guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on my January favorites. So it is the first favorites of 2015. I decided to kind of split the different items into categories. So I'll have like a technology category, a beauty category, a fashion category, and then a miscellaneous category just to kind of keep it a little bit more organized in that way. If you're more interested in one thing or another, you can skip to it during the video if you want, or you can watch the little thing, which is what I hope you do. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this app, and it is called Vinted. Basically, it's a free app. It's like a marketplace where you can buy, sell, and swap items, like clothing items, shoes, and all of that stuff. And basically, it's a great way to save money if you want to buy like lightly used items for a fraction of the cost, or if you want to make some money and sell some stuff. So for me personally, I recently just clean out my closet and I have all this stuff laying around and I, I love it but I just don't really wear it so like my homecoming dress for example I'll be selling that because I'm not going to wear that again so if you want to check out my link below I'll include my account so you can check out and like kind of shop my closet in a sense so there's that whole thing where you can easily sell items you just take a picture of whatever you're selling put a price to it, a little description and just get notified for people that are interested in buying your product it's a really safe and fast and easy way to just get rid of things or to buy things. I actually got two pairs of Nike Roches from Vinted and I'm really happy with how they came out. They're very lightly worn and they follow the description and the pictures that the sellers had in their posts and I got to track the package. I could tell when they were on their way and where they were and they both came in less than a week. I have a coupon code for you guys. You can get $10 off your first purchase which is amazing. And so I'll leave the coupon code right here and in the description so be sure to check that out if you're interested. Next item I will be talking about is actually my camera and I would show you my camera right now but I'm actually using it to film so if you like the way that this video turns out is because I have a new camera and if you're interested in a nicer camera I definitely advise this. Is it it is the Sony A7 and before I had the Canon T3i which is a really big camera. It's really heavy and I just don't like carrying it around because it's just heavy. I just feel like whenever I take pictures with it, it's so like non-discreet like I have this huge camera. But this camera it's a lot sleeker and you can still change like your lenses so it, you still get that full DSLR effect just in a smaller package and I like one of the capabilities is you can have Wi-Fi connection so you can send pictures directly from your camera to your phone in seconds which is amazing for when I want to upload pictures on Instagram. A lot of my recent pictures have been from this camera and I'm really happy with how it's turning out and I just had it for about two weeks now and I also recorded uh, the My California vlog, which I'll link below, with this camera the entire time, and that was like the first time I've ever used it, so I was kind of scared, hoping that I knew how to use it and that it wouldn't turn out bad, and it turned out amazing. So if you want kind of a more full, um, full length, more in-depth review, I can definitely do that for you guys, but I just kind of want to do a quick overview of this camera because I am absolutely loving it, and I'm so happy that I bought it. Okay, so my next category is going to be beauty products. So I have three beauty products I have been really loving this past month. First, I'll start out with the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Basically, I mean, everyone has heard about this, so it's not anything new. But for me, it is because I have been kind of noticing it's been really hyped up lately, and I didn't really know why. I know that people are really into eyebrows and like eyebrows on fleek and all that, but I didn't really know if it was all hype or if it actually worked well. So I kind of was hesitant to buy it because it is kind of expensive. But one day I went to Sephora and I just figured why not because I have been very frustrated with my eyebrows lately. I've been growing them out, trying not to pluck them. I used to over pluck them and now I'm not really happy with just using a um, brow powder. So I decided to check this out because I mean... People that use this, I notice, have very great eyebrows. I didn't know if it's because of the way they use it, maybe, or if they just have great eyebrows to begin with. So I thought I'd give it a shot just to see, and I will say it is definitely worth the hype. I was kind of um, hesitant also because when I opened up the package and at Sephora, they have like the little samples. And when I first looked at it, it kind of looked like a gel liner almost and the consistency of a gel liner is definitely not something I'd want to put on my eyebrows because it's just very pigmented and unnatural and I just don't imagine it looking very nice when you're trying to make it look natural. But the consistency is actually perfect for eyebrows because when you dip your brush into it, it actually turns into more of a powdery consistency. So it 
has a lot of control because of the kind of gel pigments but then once it goes on it's very natural looking and I have been using this a lot on my brows and I got it in the color chocolate because my hair kind of has a reddish tinge to it so I don't want to go just straight up like black brown or something and I am so happy with this I'm so glad I bought it I definitely recommend it if you're interested in making your eyebrows a little bit more defined and have a better shape because it definitely defines the arch very well and I'm easily able to kind of create a gradient effect in the inner parts of my eyebrows here so they do uh, my eyebrows great justice and I am so happy I bought it so definitely worth the hype the next item I will be talking about is a lash serum so this here is called Babe Lash and it is an eyelash growth serum. Basically, um, I used to get eyelash extensions just for about two or three months during the summer and I love eyelash extensions but they are very very expensive to maintain and after about the first week they kind of start falling out and they look really weird and you're supposed to get fills about every three weeks or so and each fill is $50. So I didn't want to spend $50 maybe like twice a month or so that's just like out of my budget maybe during the summertime when I want to wear like no makeup and just have nice lashes but in the meantime I just want to grow up my natural lashes so that way I can wear mascara and have them look really nice and full. So um, the eyelash extension place actually recommended this lash serum and they sold it really expensive and um, Amazon's a lot cheaper. So if you're interested in buying it you can easily get it on Amazon. And basically all you do is you apply this brush here, it's kind of like a liner brush. And you just apply it um, once daily it says, but if you really want to get your lashes to start growing twice daily would work even better. And basically you just line your upper lash line. You don't want to apply this to your lower lash line because it will sting your eyeballs. <laughs> so you want to make sure it doesn't get in your eyeballs. But it's really easy. It sounds kind of hard and cuts your lash line, but believe me, you just apply it like you would liquid liner. And after a while you see your lashes grow a lot longer. And what I really liked about it was it started filling in like the spots of them so I wanted more volume and thickness and this definitely gives it to me. You just want to make sure that you stick to actually applying because if you skip it your lashes do fall out. Um, not that much actually but it'll just go back to the way they were before so it's not like they're falling out everywhere and they're gone. It's just that you won't see any progress if you don't continue using it at least once daily. But it's super easy. I just do it like before I get ready or before I go to bed and it has definitely made a huge improvement in my natural lashes. Alright, so the next product I have is a lipstick, and it is the Rimmel 104. It's by um, Kate Moss. It's a lasting finish lipstick, and I love this shade. I probably talked about this before, but I, this is like my everyday lipstick. If I want to add some color into my lips and a little pop of color on my face. And I really like this um, here because it's kind of like a berry mauve. It's not a straight up nude. I tend to find that kind of mauvey nude colors wash me out. And this here just kind of makes me look a little bit more awake. And my lips look really plump and I don't need lip liner or anything. But Rimmel has a great line of lipsticks. Um, so it's a very great drugstore brand if you're not wanting to spend too much on lipsticks. But they have a lot of great shades and I've gotten quite a few. But this here is my absolute favorite so it's cheap and uh, definitely would advise checking this color out, the 104. While I was in California I went to the South Coast Plaza and you guys have a Zara there. The one in South Coast Plaza was so packed because there was this huge sale going on and I never really wanted to shop at Zara or never thought I could, at least I wanted to, but didn't think I could because I thought it was really expensive. But maybe it is originally, but during the sale it definitely was very reasonable. Everything was like 30, 40 bucks, like sweaters, jackets, tops, dresses, shoes. But really caught my eye were the shoes. I love the shoes I got. I got three pairs, but I'll show you guys two because I want to show you the third one and the rest of the stuff I got in a haul I'll be doing soon. So I don't want to show you everything. But I got like these two pairs of shoes from Zara. So this one here, I love the color so much. And this is the last one they had at the store, so it's a size um, 38, which is like a size 7. So I'm a size 6, but it still fits, but not like snug, but I can I can do it. I need to do it. <laughs> so these here are super cute. Originally 120 bucks, and they were on sale for $40, $39.99. So I got these here. 
And then I also got these here, and I love these. They're so lightweight. That's what I really love about them because I can actually wear these. They're not just cute. I can actually wear them. But um, I also got these for 40 bucks. So these were both originally 120 So it was a really, really good deal. Um, the next item I got, I actually also got in California too. I got this at the Orange, uh, no, Outlets at Orange, I think it's what it's called. So I went to the Nike outlet, obviously, because it is Nike. And, oh, there's my debit card. Just check that out there. <laughs> I've been trying to look for, like, a um, windbreaker that kind of looks like this, where it's kind of, like, vintage -y looking, and it has, like, cool colors and all that. And I can never find one. And when I first walk into this Nike store at orange at outlets at orange <laughs> they had this like right when you walk in they also had it in a blue color but i really like this maroon color i think it just i love this color in general so having this in this jacket too is perfect okay my last thing is in miscellaneous and it is actually not a thing it's an animal <laughs> i got a pet hamster <laughs> i don't know he's sleeping right now should i wake him up I don't know if I should. Well, before I show him, um, basically, growing up, I have always loved animals, and I have never been allowed to have pets. Um, I live with my mom, so I see my dad, or I, I used to see my dad every other weekend, and he used to have gerbils and hamsters and stuff for me, because he knew I loved animals. So I kind of grew up with hamsters and gerbils, but I didn't really, because I only saw them, like, twice in life. But I would always beg my mom... Can I please get a hamster? Like, it's just a hamster. I know I can't get a dog, but can I just get a hamster? And she would always say no. And I kept asking her, like, I'm talking about, like, last year. Like, up to last year, even. I would constantly, like, ask her, can I get something? And, um, just, like, a month ago, I asked her again. <laughs> I asked her, would you kill me if I got a hamster? And she, for the first time, said no, she wouldn't kill me. So you know what I did? I went out and I got a hamster. So his name is... His name is Momo. He just woke up, so he's kind of cranky and freaking out. But he's not yet really tamed yet, so he kind of still freaks out when he's held. Yeah, that was my hamster. So you might be seeing him, more of him, but... I'm pretty happy because I have always wanted a pet to love and now I have one. <laughs> but like when I, my plan is when I move out I want to get like dogs and bunnies and all that. But for right now I just have a hamster. And yeah, so that's basically it for all of my January favorites. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what other videos you would want. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter where you can let me know of any other videos you want or just keep up to date as to what I am doing. But that's basically it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.